Hello there my friends, Target Pro here and we are going to finish my home network because it's been here for a long time and I haven't had time to finish it. My cables are already ready, this cabinet is already mounted on the wall. I'm going to show you the materials we are going to use also and we are going to do this one step by step so stay tuned. First one we have here is a PDU that can be mounted on our cabinet. We can plug our devices here so that they will be organized inside our cabinet. The next one we have here is unloaded patch panel. It's called unloaded patch panel because it doesn't have any ports on it. We'll be using this IO ports or what we call keystone modular jack. We'll be using this one terminating the cable and then putting it manually here. We'll be using the Cisco switch mounting it there. The rack mount is already ready for us, we'll just mount it later on. We'll be needing RG45 to create short cables on our patch panel going to our switch. Of course, we'll be needing a punch down tool so that we are going to punch this one to the cables. And our crimping tool. And lastly, we have our cables. We'll be using this one. These are the cables that are ready for termination inside my wall mounted cabinet. So we're going to do one example on how to terminate this one with a on a keystone or modular jack IO port whatever they call it there's a coding that we can follow now if you want to use it straight to A you can see it there it's labeled now after doing this uh, first demo we're going to fast forward everything so that it will be faster we're not going to wait for me to finish all these cables okay Then we follow the color coding here. We have the orange, we have the orange white, we have blue, we have brown. So these are already done guys. We are going to attach this one to our patch panel. But before we can do that, we need to mount our patch panel first. We'll be mounting our patch panel in our PDU. I want my PDU to be here before my patch panel. Now it's time for us to plug in these terminated cables into our patch panel. So we're going to mount our switch. We will need a short cable that connect this one to patch panels. So we are going to create that one as well. We will be needing uh, 14 patch cables, so we are going to create them on our own. We need short cables like this.
prepared in more like this okay so I'll just going to I'm just going to create that uh, 13 and then let's go and plug it to our switch let's go and plug it to our patch panel and switch okay We're done with we're done with 14 patch cables. We are going to connect this one in our patch panel to our switch. Let's do that. It's time we connect our switch to our patch panel. So we have the cables well organized and uh, properly cabled with the patch panel. And we are going to continue to add more of our network um, devices there. Let's start uh, plugging on the devices. Let's power on our switch here. First one there. For now this will be my file server or media server this is where I'm going to put all my files so that it will be accessible to the network it's a mini PC I'm planning to upgrade this one but maybe later on so I'll just put it in my home network wait there like that looking good and we're going to power this one on before we connect it to the network I'll be using this Microtech Hoplite for now as my home router. I've been a PFSense user for a long time, Cisco, but there are a lot of buzz out there saying that Microtech is good, so I'm going to try this one, put it here, and probably evaluate how good these uh, Microtechs are. Yeah. There you go, this is the Microtech. We'll also plug that one in. Plug this one to the network. Need to plug in the, let's plug in the internet. It's blinking. It's the switch turning on. Then I have my. Uh, media server there a mini PC a small one. I'm planning to upgrade that one later on That's a Microtech Hoplite. I'm going to use that for a while that will be my home router at the same time my Access point so let me try and see if this is really good Yay, we're done with the network setup Well, there are a lot of things I'm going to add there will be a few things I'll be adding here soon Probably if I'll um, upgrade some of my uh, network items, I'll be adding more um, media servers out here. I'll let you know. Goodbye. This is Toroga Pro. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time on my YouTube channel. And we'll create more videos.